All right, so this is just a fun little exercise so that you can get an idea about how powerful are exponential functions, okay? So I have Microsoft Excel up, and I just wanna just pose a question to you. Suppose somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I'm gonna give you a penny today. Tomorrow I'll give you two pennies, and then four pennies, and I'm gonna keep doubling the amount of money that I give you for the whole month. So that means you know, you'll get four pennies, and eight pennies, 16 pennies, and, and so on. And I said, we, we can do that for a full month, or if you would like, I could just give you a million dollars right now. So what would you take? You might think, man, if I'm just getting a few pennies a day, I should probably take the million dollars, right? I mean, after all, pennies don't really add up to that much, right? Well, let's see what happens when we start doing this in Excel. So the guy says that he's going to give you a penny for the first day, which means that your total is going to be just a penny. And then the next day, he's going to give you double the amount that he gave you the day before, okay? Which means that your total is going to equal this plus what you had before. So you're up to three cents. Wow, that is totes amazing, right? Let's do this for the first 10 days. So on day 10, he comes up to you or he has put this you know, electronic funds transfer into your bank of $5.12. You're like, what a waste of my time. And they come over here to the total and that means that you've earned a total of ten dollars and twenty three cents okay provided you haven't spent any money you haven't gone to you know Starbucks or anything like that to buy a, a drink um, you have ten dollars and twenty three cents and you're going man you know what we're a third of the way through the month I should have taken that million dollars I was so dumb let's see what happens so that's the first ten days let's go to the next ten days let's go to day twenty so on day 20, he's giving you $5,000. Still, that's a far cry from a million, right? And your total money that you've accumulated is just over $10,000. Should have taken the million. What were we thinking, right? Let's go on. We've got 31 days. Go all the way to day 31. And let's see what the accumulation is going to be there. Oh, oh, that's, dang, that is $21,474,836.47. So it started off kind of small, right? You're thinking, this is stupid. What am I doing? But then, as it goes on, and even on day 20, you were still kind of thinking, this was not, this was a very poor choice, right? It's not until day 24, actually day 27, excuse me, that you finally hit that million dollar mark. But then it just gets a lot bigger after that. So, patience, right? So you can see how quickly things can grow exponentially. And you see the same kind of thing in terms of uh, population growth. Uh, if you have bacteria, how quickly do things spread? And if you look in the notes, you'll see that sometimes when you have infectious diseases, they tend to um, go in this kind of model. They start to really ramp up. It looks like they're growing exponentially. And then we try to do this flattening the curve thing where the number of infections that are reported daily uh, starts to, to go down, or at least starts to flatten out. So you're not getting more and more. So like right here, you were getting 32 cents, then 64, then $1.28. So each day, the gain gets higher and higher, which of course makes the total higher, but the gain increasing every day er, is what was causing this guy to blow up. But if here, like at day nine, you just get $2.56, then your growth becomes linear and not exponential, which makes it easier to curtail. So yeah, exponential growth is a, is a thing. So I hope that was kind of neat to see that and I hope that you will make a wise choice and that you plan out to see what would happen for more than just a day at a time.